Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about, okay hold up, first and foremost let me first apologise, I know I've been MIA for a little bit but there's been a lot going on. Sister had a baby, cousin got sick, we've been having weddings and we well, get the gist right, there's been a lot going on. But anyhow, I hope you guys have all been doing well and I hope you guys have missed me. Today we're going to be discussing the whole life coach thing. It's been a hype going on. Everybody's a life coach now. The reason I bring this up, I went out to go see a life coach the other day. I have never met up with a life coach before. I'd never felt like I needed one. To be honest, I never really knew what it was about, this whole life coach thing. I know it's becoming real popular. I know it's an American thing which is coming over here and absolutely everybody and their friends think they're a life coach. But I really wanted someone to help me because I heard that they help out with like trying to structure your life and yada yada yada. So basically I they fix your life, right? So I thought, hey, I need someone to fix my life and put me in order. So I started doing a bit of research and then I looked a few people up. So I ended up having a meeting with this amazing guy called Tom. And to be honest, like I was thinking life coach. I really assumed it was someone that was gonna fix my life. I thought like I didn't think I actually did this, where I got a list of stuff that I needed fixing and I thought, okay, cool, when I go to the meeting, I've got an hour, he's going to fix me, right? Like, I need you to make me stop being fickle, get me more organised, <laughs> make me stick to stuff, and yeah, right? But it doesn't quite work like that. I kind of I kind of find out afterwards. Let me come and get a bit closer. So yeah, it doesn't really work out like that. So anyway, I went up, I met him, and then um, one of the first things I asked him is, what is a life coach? Like, secretly, like, I know I'm here, but what's a life coach? He must have been like, so a life coach is somebody that, so basically they don't advise you which I thought they did. Um, they don't advise you or anything like that. And basically what they're doing is they're asking you all the best questions to get you to answer them for yourself. So they'll ask you, why are you here? <laughs> so then like, basically they ask you really good opening questions that you're meant to fill in all the gaps for yourself. And then when he was telling me all of this, I was like, okay, so you guys are sort of like a counselor. And he was like, well, sort of, but counsellors are more for your past and life coaches are for your future. And I was like, that's so cool. I never think of it like that. So, yeah, so then we had a sit down and everything. As I told you, I got my book, I got my list. So he was like, so why are you here? I was like, for you to kind of fix my life, no? Like, I've got an hour. What can you do for me? He was like, no, it don't work like that. He was like, if you can just start a little bit like why you're here and what you actually need help with and blah, 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 blah. So basically it's like counseling. <laughs> you start talking. <laughs> I'm good at that, I'm okay with that. Tell me to talk, I can talk all day. Just don't tell me to write down an essay. So yeah, so then we sat down and then we were talking. So um, one of the things I really felt like I needed help with is organizing myself. The reason why is I, I've got so many ideas. Do you know what I mean? I've got so many ideas. There's so many things I want to do. And I want to do them great. I feel like I'm destined for greatness, so I want to do them great, yeah? But then I end up not doing any of it. Because I, what I end up doing is starting a bit of this and then not finishing. Thinking, oh my God, like I've got to do that. And you just end up jumping and nothing's finished. So I told all of this to him and I was like, how are you going to fix that for me? Because it doesn't work like that, lady. He asked me, so to start off, he asked me to tell him a little about myself. So I went in on, I'm a mum of three, I'm a wife, I'm currently studying, I'm at work, I really want to start my own businesses, and I've recently started my YouTube channel, way, recently started my YouTube channel. So there's a lot on my plate, even though I didn't know it. And he, because he asked me that, and I was like, yeah, well, I don't do much. And he was like, so what do you do? And then I reeled off all that stuff that I just said. And then he goes, that doesn't sound like you don't do much. And I was like, no, I just feel like I'm not finishing anything. I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. I feel like I'm standing still and I'm stuck. I feel like I've got all this stuff going on in my head that needs to be done, that I want to get done, and nothing's happening. So then he was like, okay, can I ask you a question? I was like, okay, cool, go ahead. He was like, um, what he asked me, and he said, do I give myself credit? I said, what are you talking about? Credit for what? He's like, credit for what you do. I'm like, are you not listening, ho? 
on me. I told you I don't do anything. Breathe. So anyway, so I was like the whole mum thing as well. I was like being a mum has really sort of knocked my confidence when it comes to the whole working world and all of that. And he was like, okay. Um, so one of the things he said is that you're doing the most amazing job in the world. Like you're doing the hardest job in the world. Everything else is child's play. Like everything else. Everything else you'd be able to teach yourself. So once you understood that you're doing the hardest thing in the world already, then everything else you start to understand is not that hard. You might just need to adapt to what it is you do at home and whatnot to the work life. Do you know that? Because I've had so many girls reach out to me and be like, oh my God, I'm going through the same thing you're going through. So I had to ask a lot of those mom questions because they were all like, I've been being a mom for so long that I don't know how to do anything else. And we all do, we, we all get lost in motherhood and get comfortable in it. And, it's, and then you get to the stage where you're just like, is this, you feel like that's all you know how to do. Do you know, you feel like that's all you know how to do. But even that, in being a mom, just, just the task and everything you do every day, even that, if we was to break down what is we do daily, like money handling, we know to clean, we know to cook, we know how to organize the kids and get them. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you broke all of them down into fancy work words, do you know, like, it would, like, if we was to put that into our CV, into work words, dude, do you know how many people would hire us? Like, if we started to break it down and had a bit more confidence in what it is we do and start to understand that, yes, it, we are doing the hardest job in the world, that no one's trained us for, that nobody gives us a pat on the back for, that we do 24-7, okay? So if we already do that, everything else should be easy, right? So keep telling yourself that, because I'm going to keep telling myself that, and then let me know if it works. So I'll let you know if it works. <laughs> He went on to tell me about mini habits. So we were there and we were like, he goes, have you ever heard of mini habits? And I'm like, what's that? I was like, I, I get it, like mini habits, small habits. And he goes, exactly that, small habits. Have you ever tried them out? I'm like, why? He goes, because the majority of the time, everyone gives themselves such huge tasks and such huge goals that we never end up getting there if you know what I mean, because we're overwhelmed with it. And I'm like, oh my God, you're talking about me? So I was like, yeah, so it's quite overwhelming and you don't end up getting anything done. So what we ended, so he broke down the mini habits to me. So it's a habit that you do daily. So then basically what you're meant to do is do it every day so then it becomes normal. Do you know, it becomes a habit rather than a task. You dig? Okay, great, that's the, that's, that's the whole mini habits. So what we ended up doing was that we chose five different mini habits. So I started off with, okay, one of the things I know I definitely have to do is squat. I've lost a lot of weight, <laughs> a lot of baby weight. I've always just been a big girl, to be honest. So I've lost a lot of weight and everything's kind of gone down south and it's really knocking my confidence. So I need to tone up. So I was like squatting. I need to get squatting in my life. Squat, squat, squat. So then we were like, I was like, I've heard of this 50 day challenge one. And then must have been like, okay, so how's that going? And I was like, it's not going. <laughs> so you know, I was doing 50 squats, just thinking about it. I, I, I ain't even started nothing yet. So then he was like, all right, cool. So start with a smaller number. So I chose the number 10. And so basically what it does is that you give yourself on your to-do list 10 squats. So this is something you're going to be doing daily. So you give yourself 10 squats, but then that's your checklist. So if you've done 10, you can check it off. But what happens is that while you're down there doing, well, he's saying 10, you're thinking, why don't I just do 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on and so forth, you get what I'm saying, right? So, and then on top of that, so I was like, okay, I need, I always leave my essays last minutes. So what do I do about that? So he goes, um, normally you get this amount of words, right? So he goes, okay, so maybe try and do 50 words a day. I was like, okay, that really works for me. So I was like, all right, cool. No, he didn't actually suggest these things. He makes me suggest it for myself, but really is him suggesting it. Don't ever get it twisted. But anyway, so I was like, all right, cool. Like 50 words a day, I can do that. And then it's been working, guys. Well, anyway. So then I was like, and he goes, so what else? Yada, yada, yada. So we moved on to, I was like, I always quit. I always quit everything. Not everything, but every. I quit what I can quit. <laughs> you get it? And I feel like it's come from my past because I went counselling before and I kind of figured that all out in counselling. Anyways, from my past, growing up, like my mum would always allow us to quit. 
you know, we didn't have to finish anything. We'd start like a, I would start a basketball club or something. And then afterwards I'd get bored of it. I'd be like, okay, I don't want to do that no more. I'd start a course here. Do you know what I mean? Like everything I wanted to do, I was allowed to do. And then I was allowed to quit it. So then I realized that if anything gets a little hard, it's okay, you can just quit it. So I don't have that whole seeing things through to the end, do you know? But I did start doing that. At the age of 23, I went back to school and I was so friggin' chuffed with myself that I had started, I had finished, I had... You get what I'm saying anyway. Like, so basically the whole reason, as I said, I really wanted to go see a life coach because I wanted them to fix my life. But what I've ended up learning from that is no one can fix your life but you. Like, we really need to start understanding and start accepting that we control our life. We control what, what we do and how we do it and even what we think. Do you understand all the negativity? Because to be honest, a lot of the time as well, you tell yourself you can't do something. I know I do. I tell myself that I can't do something before I've even started. I'm just like, yeah, no, I won't be able to do that. Do you know, you knock yourself down before anyone else can do it for you, do you know? I feel like that's one of the things we need to get over. We need to start understanding only we can work on we. <laughs> only you can work on you. And we definitely need to stop living in our story and just come outside our box and come outside our comfort zones to be able to do things that are going to make us amazing. <laughs> but yeah, so the whole life coach thing, um, would I recommend it? I definitely would recommend it. I don't, it depends on anybody, everybody else, right? But I definitely, me, I recommend anything that has to do with talking to understand yourself. That's, that's, that's what I recommend. It might not be a life coach. It might be a counsellor. It might, do you know what I mean? It could be anything else. It might be a friend. It might be a coach, another coach of some sort. Whatever it is, it might be a guru person. It might be a sheikh. You get my drift. Whatever it is, I'm just pro-talking. Pro-talking and pro-figuring out yourself. And to figure out yourself, you need to talk to people that kind of have their mindset right as well. Because we go off talking to our friends like they're going to fix us. They ain't fixing us. They're just trying to damage us a bit more because guess what? They're damaged too. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just trying off to dissing friends and all sorts. No, but seriously, um, that's one thing that I want to make clear that... We need to talk. We need to really take the time out to start understanding ourselves and start understanding what makes us happy. And this happiness we be looking for, what is it? Is it what people are telling us should make us happy? Or is it something that really will make you happy and feel better about yourself? So yeah, so I hope this helped. That was my whole life coach experience. It weren't much, it weren't a lot. But I hope it helps. But yeah. Until next time, take care, peace out. Um, yeah, you can find me, I say yeah a lot, right? You can find me on Facebook, on Snapchat, and on Instagram. I'm on those three quite a lot. And take care and make sure you're happy with you. Okay, you got to love yourself first and everybody will love you too. Peace out. Bye.